These are all of our four new ones. All the way back there, I'm gonna go check on her, but there was a calf on the ground, not moving, which is always a bad sign. And yeah, it's just, that's part of farming. It's really sad when stuff like that happens, but fingers crossed that she adopts that other calf. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to take you guys along and show you some cute little babies that we have. Right now we are unrolling a bale and I am going to be walking in front of the pickup while Ryan unrolls it just because we're out here in this taller grass and these babies, these new babies love to go hide in it. And so they get tucked down really good and bundled up and you can't really see them and you don't want to run over one with the pickup. It's very sad. We've had it happen a couple times before. Just too sad that it's worth it for me to just hop out and walk. That way we don't have accidents like that. But um, like I said, we have some cows that we bought a while back and they are going to be calving here um, at the end of February. We've had a few, like four that have already calved and then um, a few more are getting puffy is what we call it which just means that their body is getting ready to have the baby. And um, so it's just a sign that we kind of look for with them. But uh, yeah, so we'll have a few more calves on the ground here pretty soon. Um, today's Monday and there's supposed to be some cold weather coming in um, this week to Kansas. And so we're gonna end up putting them back in the trees here. That way they are, um, a little bit out of the elements, uh, away from the wind and stuff. But um, we'll be doing that tonight. That way, if anybody does calve with the cold weather, they are safe and sound. Okay, I'm gonna walk out this last little bit here. I don't see any babies, which is good. All the mamas are over there. This baby looks like it's brand new. I'm gonna have to go show you guys that. Mama's still got some stuff hanging. All the cows are excited for their bale of hay, so they're ready to get going. Here, here's one of our newest babies. You can see how tiny it is compared to this white-faced one. That one's probably a month old, the red and white-faced. And then this one's probably, oh, two or, um, I would say four or five days old. Hi, cutie. Oh. Sometimes they do that. <laughs> this is why I wanted to bring you guys out here. There are so many cute little calves. These are all of our four new ones. And that mom way back there, I'm gonna go check on her, but I think she had one. You can see how tiny they are. They are so stinking cute. This is the one we just saw earlier. Got a little bit of milk on his face. We gotta make sure that we don't scare him. We don't want him to run off too far. I think this one back here is brand new. I think that's his mama right there. <laughs> Aren't they the cutest little thing? Hi, baby. This one must be a mama to a new baby. She's coming to look for it. I like how that that one has white on its chin and then on its eyebrow. They're pretty cute. Okay, let's go check on this mama and see what number her tag is. What ended up happening there, you guys saw we Went up to go check on that mama. She had a little bit hanging still, so that means that she would have had her calves just recently. But um, there was a calf on the ground, not moving, which is always a bad sign. And Ryan ended up going up to it, and um, sure enough, it wasn't alive. Um, he said he checked it, and 
there's a part of its stomach that wasn't fully formed. So it was probably dead when it was um, born. Obviously that's not, not the best situation. We're thinking that this mama has had a twin with it. So she, we're gonna make sure that she adopts that baby. And it's a good mama to that baby. Um, and yeah, it's just, that's part of farming. It's really sad when stuff like that happens. Doesn't happen very often, but sometimes we like to be here when they have a calf, just in case if there's something that we can do. Like sometimes uh, the calf just needs a little bit of assistance um, to help it breathe when it um, is first born. But like I said, that wasn't the case with this one. Unfortunately, when it was born, it was probably already dead. Um, but fingers crossed that she adopts that other calf and, um, and that we have at least one baby with a mama. So we went ahead and took care of baby earlier, but we came back out to double check and make sure this mama was adopting the calf. The other, her other twin, hopefully. That's her. She's looking calves that we left earlier still laying over here so Ryan's gonna try to call her over. So I went ahead and checked and the last three that had their calves all have them beside them right here. She's still looking at Ryan. I'm gonna turn it around. He's gonna go ahead and walk her the calf over to mama and see if she'll adopt it. But right now it's not looking good. So sometimes that happens they just get confused and stuff. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully we can make this work. Ryan's over there holding the calf until she's like, what's going on? Is that my baby? Sometimes with those new mom hormones, they just take a little bit to get to figuring out what's going on. I did not plan on having a part one and a part two to this video. I was hoping it would all work out. Um, from what we saw and our experience with stuff in the past with our cows this is probably not going to go the way that we want it to um hopefully we can still get mama to adopt the baby um but right now she's just not she's not showing the signs for us to be confident that she has adopted that first twin so um we are going to have to bring them all down to the corral i guess i'm gonna go out there and watch them a little bit and see if she does um, end up adopting that baby um, and I'll show that in the next video of course but uh, yeah we're probably gonna have to put her in the corral and do some other stuff which I'll show you guys to try to get them to bond together so it's just kind of part of it with cows uh, not everything works out perfect and um, yeah yeah we just adapt and go so um, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like and be on the lookout for part two because it will be coming next week. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.